G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Today we're going to focus on one specific move in golf. In fact, this move is so important, so crucial, it can affect up to 14 different aspects of your golf swing. That's right, 14. Incredible, isn't it? It's so, so important to get this move right so that you can deliver power and accuracy in your golf swing. As always, we've got our free training guide at the end of our video. And we're going to talk through these different aspects that this move can affect, and then we're going to show you a great drill that you can do at home to help you improve this move. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you make the most of your game. Well, there's a perfect example of not doing this move very effectively. I didn't strike it very well, it didn't go where I wanted it to, and it didn't have much power. So what is this move? Well, I lied. It's actually two moves, but it's from the one area, and that's from the right hip, the trail hip for a right-hander. It didn't move very well, it didn't rotate, and it wasn't really helping me generate any power, it wasn't helping me contact the ball. So what do we want that trail hip to do? Well, it's pretty simple. We want it to go behind us in the backswing, and then we want to go towards the target in the downswing. Unfortunately, that's very difficult to do for a lot of golfers, especially if we lose mobility. So we definitely encourage you to work on your mobility here so that you can move this trail hip more effectively. Let's go through the problems associated with not moving that trail hip very well. So number one, if we don't get it, that trail hip to go behind us, then it can sway very easily. And swaying gets that spine angle tilted towards the target, and then we have to recover in the downswing. This definitely affects ball striking, and it can hurt your back as well. So swaying is definitely not what we want to achieve. It's not very powerful either. Number two is improved pressure in that trail foot. When we get into the backswing and we get that trail hit behind us, that's increasing that pressure in the inside of the trail foot, which is a great platform to drive. That's gonna help us to generate more power and a more stable platform in the golf swing as well. Number three is improved turn. As we get the trail hip or pocket to go behind us, it's much easier to get you back to the target. It's a more powerful rotation and we definitely want to be winding up well in the backswing. So getting that trail hip to go behind us is really gonna help us to load up much better in the backswing. Number four, it helps us to relax. There's more energy lower down in the legs and the hips. We're focusing much more here and much lower to the ground. And that helps us to relax our jaw and our neck and our arms and shoulders. It's very easy to hit the ball hard with your arms and shoulders but lose a lot of power and a lot of consistency that way. By getting the energy lower down, that helps us to relax our arms and shoulders and allow things to follow in a better sequence. Which leads us into number five. It's an improved downswing sequence or kinematic chain. We wind up getting that trail pocket behind us in the backswing and then we can start the downswing with that lower half, a much better powerful kinetic chain in the downswing as we get that trail pocket to go through towards the target and allow the upper half to follow, we generate so much more torque and power that way because the sequence is so much improved. And that's the same for a lot of sports such as tennis, throwing, hockey, baseball. That kinetic chain is so important to deliver your optimum amount of club head speed by getting that pocket to go behind and then through and allowing the rest to follow. Number six, let's have a look at it from down the line now. Early extension. This is a very common motion, losing posture, and this hip, this trail hip coming forward towards the ball. We don't want that to happen. We want it to go towards the target. So it's getting behind us, and then this way. So this trail hip is going towards the target, not out towards the ball. That's that loss of posture and that early extension. So if we can get that movement happening, that's really going to improve a lot of things, a lot of motions through impact there. Number seven is back to pressure. We can get that pressure going from the inside of the trail shoe forward towards that front foot. That's really gonna help us with that momentum through the shot. And we all know that we can hit the ball further if we can transfer pressure more effectively. And getting that trail hip that way is definitely gonna help us to do that. And number eight, also in the downswing, is improving rotation. As we get the trail hip going forward towards the target, look where my left hip's going. It's out of the way. And that's enabling rotation through the shot. Golf's a very rotational game, and the higher the quality of the rotation, the better your golf shots are gonna be. Number nine is everyone's favorite, lag. 
If we can encourage that lower half to work more effectively, powerfully from the ground up, that encourages lag into the downswing rather than trying to force it with the hands and arms. And of course that leads into number 10, which means more clubhead speed. Definitely, if we're driving the lower half through there and achieving all of this better kinetic chain and better lag, then we're achieving more clubhead speed through impact. Number 11, again, from lag, that means that we can compress the ball more easily. We're much more likely to hit the ball first and then the turf because of the swing sequence and the lag and we're getting that slightly forward shaft angle through impact and that's helping us to hit the ball first. Number 12 is more mental, it helps the commitment. Remember how we reduce that tension in the arms and the shoulders? Well, by turning through, getting that right pocket to go forward, then we're encouraging commitment through the shot rather than steering and hanging back. And of course, with that better lag and that better compression, then that means that we're going to reduce flipping and scooping because we're into a much better impact position. And number 14, lastly, but definitely not least, the piece de resistance, we can square up the club face more consistently. As we're rotating through the shot and getting this trail hip to go forward, that means the club face rotation is gonna be much more consistent through impact. If we're not doing that, then we go back to that flipping and that's where that club face control can really be affected. It's gonna be really inconsistent. And it is really relying on flashing those hands at exactly the right time and you're relying on exquisite timing. If you can rotate better, get that trail hip to go through, then it's gonna be much more consistent for you. All right, let's see if I can demonstrate it. For me, it's gonna be the right hip, the right pocket. So I'm gonna think about the right pocket. That's an external focus of attention. Right pocket back, right pocket through towards the target. Let's see if I can achieve that and get the result that we're looking for. Much freer swing, better strike, better compression, more speed, and definitely more accuracy. Here's a really effective drill to help you get the feeling of what it's like to move that trail hip effectively. So you need a couple of tool sticks, alignment rods, whatever you want to call them, and stick one through your belt loops, just in the front belt loops there. One, two, go midway across, and get the other one across your shoulders, really high on, on your shoulder bones there. And the whole idea here is to touch the sticks together. But here's the key, we want to get the stick that's through your belt loops through first, and then the one that's on your shoulders to touch the back of that stick. Now watch what happens to my hips as I do that. As I turn through into the downswing, I'm getting my lead hip out of the way, and I'm getting my trail hip through towards the target. And you can see how that really improves posture. If you early extend, then the sticks are going to miss each other. We're not gonna get that rotation through. We're not gonna get this trail hip working effectively. It's gonna go forward. We want it going around towards the target and using the sticks in this manner is a real good stretch and it's a super drill to help you get the feeling of what it's like to get that trail hip to move effectively in the golf swing. Now, during this video, I mentioned the importance of being able to be mobile and flexible throughout the golf swing really going to help you to move that trail hip effectively. So we've got some golf specific stretches for you. Watch this video next. That's really going to help you to move that hip and other aspects of your body in the golf swing better if you can be more mobile. Click there. There's your free download all from the aspects from today's lesson. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to your company next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?